Well, I never set an alarm. You know, I think it's important to wake up when your body needs to wake up. Fortunately or unfortunately, my body wakes up every morning at 5 or 5.30. I go drink about a one and a half cups of coffee. Uh, during that time, I take, I start my day off with, uh, you know, some algae products, Corella spirulina. And then I usually sit in an infrared sauna for, for 30 minutes at 170 degrees. And then during that 30 minutes, I'm in my sauna. I just take time to express gratitude. I open my Hallow app. I do my daily prayers and meditation and then just think about, okay, what happened yesterday? What's my day like today? And really just mentally put forth a game plan for how can I be most productive, what needs to get done. So there's the have, then there's the need. And I think that's a, you know, a great way to start the day. And then I typically don't eat my first meal until 11. I do a 16 hour intermittent fast. And in the summer, you know, I teach my boys, they can either work out here on the farm or they can work for somebody else. You know, I'm not always easy to work for sometimes and parents and aren't always easy to work for. But you know, they have to work. Uh, the kids have to work, There's, that's not a uh, not an option for them. But you know, I usually ride around, I'll, I'll ride the fence line, make sure that the perimeter is still secure, that I don't have any cows out, especially cows out on the road that you know could pose a danger to drivers or, or neighbors. You know, for the first, so from 5.30 until eight or so, I spend you know, time on the computer, getting caught up on emails. I wake up every morning with dozens of texts, hundreds of emails, and the day hasn't even started. So I allow that time for me to kind of get caught up and then intermittent through the day, I'll come back to the house, log on to my email, but there's always something to do out here. There's, this is a never ending project. So on a daily basis, you know, we're always riding around. This is, you know, calving season for us. So cows are having calves and you have to make sure that for young cows, and this is their first calf, the heifer's having a, a calf, then that's a high risk. And so I'll typically drive around and you can see kind of when they're about to calf and we just keep an eye on them. A lot of times I'll put them in a smaller tract of land just to keep an eye on them. That way if there is a problem during childbirth, then we can intervene. And, and so that's just maintaining, you know, the, the health and safety of the calf, but also the, the cow so she can continue to, to reproduce. And we want to make sure that every cow here, you know, produces a calf a year. Fortunately, this is a very good year in terms of rain and, and grass production. Then you've got to feed the cows. They have to have something to eat. If there's no grass on the ground to graze, then you know, we have to give them hay, we have to feed them protein. And then that obviously adds to the cost. What I've learned is it's very difficult to earn a living to support a family just on agriculture itself, especially you know, a cow-calf operation. You know, that's why there's, you know, for years farmers have subsidies from the government because without the farmers, there's no food. So it's a you know, kind of a feed forward type uh, reciprocal process here. You know, I grew up riding horses and competing in rodeos and, and roping. And I did that as a, a young kid, a, you know, 11, 12 year old, all the way through high school. And then, you know, then, you know, kind of your professional career takes precedence. But one of the things that I did when I moved back here was build a roping pen, buy horses and get back into competitive team roping. So we always have horses on the place and those are, it's very important because there's nothing like saddling up a horse riding through the pasture, checking the cows. For me, there's nothing better than being on the back of a horse and riding through the pasture, the peace and the, the serenity and getting back to nature and having that relationship, you know, with our companions and the horses because they provide such valuable resources out here. So our operation out here is what we call a cow-calf operation. And really basically that means we're grass farmers. We just have to grow enough grass to support the cow so that they can have a calf every year. And then those cows will actually raise that calf to about you know, five, 600 pounds to where they're a year old. And then these, these cattle buyers will buy that and then they'll grow that calf from <clears throat> say five, six, 700 pounds to, you know, 12, 1300 pounds. And that then they're ready for, for processing to get the meat that actually shows up at the grocery store. So that's kind of my overall operation. But for our own personal consumption, you know, we take the calves typically straight off the mama. So all he's had is grass and breast milk for the first year of life and that calf will be five or 600 pounds. And then we put them in a feedlot and we feed them for 150 days. The only nutrition these calves are getting are from their mother, from the grass, and then a specially designed nutrient program. And then, so we feed them for 150 days and that really turns the fat from yellow to white, which it's really enriched in all the vitamins we need, the healthy fats. You know, big ag, when, the, when these cattle buyers buy it, they put it in these feedlots and they feed them all in masses and grow them. And you know, they use a lot of things that probably uh, aren't the best for the end product. But for us, you know, as every piece of food that we're eating on a daily basis knows that we grew that, it came from our land, and we know what's in it, we know what's not in it. I mean, there's nothing better than that. And I think that pays off because my family's extremely healthy. We don't get sick. You know, my boys in school, you know, my kids don't get sick. Uh, and I haven't been sick in more than 20 years. 
I think the benefits of that certainly pay pay dividends.